Distinguished gentlemen, by opening this ceremony with all my heart, I would like to congratulate you with the official launch of your diplomatic mission to Russia. I hope that your work will be successful and the results will contribute to further expansion of mutually beneficial ties between our countries. Today, the world is facing a whole range of difficulties, global and regional. The world today is facing a number of problems. There is a number of global and regional issues. There are processes that are going on in Northern Africa and in the Middle East. There is debt crisis in Eurozone and rather complicated and unstable situation on world financial markets. And in these conditions, it's extremely important to make responsible and coordinated decisions. We need an honest and open cooperation. Russia безусловно, готова к самому широкому партнерскому диалогу. And there is no doubt that Russia is ready towards the partnership dialogue with all the countries present here and in the world in order to guarantee the international stability and security. And we intend to further implement and balance and correct policy to take an active part in establishing a more just system of world order. Наша страна достаточно активно последние годы работает над реализацией очень важных интеграционных проектов, особенно выделю в этом контексте недавнее подписание договора о зонах. And our country is actively working on a number of integrational projects, such as the Treaty of Zone on Free Trade in the CIS and the Customs Union with Russia, Belarus, and Kazakhstan, and starting from 2012, a common economic zone. Отмечу также укрепление международного авторитета крупных организаций, скажем, Шанхайской. And I would also like to know the strengthening of the international authority and influence of such organizations as SCO, and more serious role in the stabilization of global economy of such groups as BRICS. And traditionally, we devote a large portion of attention to our dialogue with the European Union. And in the nearest future, we will have a next Russian-European summit. And I have no doubts that uh, with goodwill, it will contribute to universal development of multifaceted relations that we have with the European Union. And one of the examples of successes in this field can be um, a completion of a very complicated process of Russia acceding to WTO, and we're glad that we have come to a positive result. And I would also like to express hope that finally we will be able to overcome all the difficulties that you are very well aware of that we have in our relations with NATO, and we will be able to continue our cooperation with the Alliance in the spirit of understanding for the benefit of global stability and security. And I'm sure that the countries that you represent are interested in building these particular relations equal, mutually beneficial and respectful. And now a few words about the countries that you represent. We highly appreciate the half-century relations that we have and friendship and cooperation of Russia and Guinea. And we intend to multiply these traditions and increase the potential of our bilateral ties. The Republic of Costa Rica has become the first state of Central America that has established ties with Russia. And next year we will celebrate 140th anniversary of our relations. And we hope that their level will increase, and first of all, in the spheres of trade, culture, and education. We are interested in strengthening our friendly ties with Guinea-Bissau and joint search for promising fields of cooperation. And we are satisfied with the partnership that we have with Spain. And in this basis, um, close approaches to the key issues of our days and all traditions of mutual understanding and sympathy among our peoples. An aspiration of the citizens of Russia and Spain for a closer context have been demonstrated in the twin years. A large-scale project, the official closing ceremony, took place the day before yesterday in Madrid. The Grand Principality of Luxembourg is one of our promising financial and investment partners in the Western Europe and it's our, in our common interest to efficiently use this potential in trade, economic, scientific, technical and other fields.
and friendship and mutual sympathy have been traditional in our relations uh, with the, the Syrian Arab Republic. This and also the, aspira the aspiration to prevent the erosion of basic rules of international law and the principle of interstate relations define our approaches and assessments of those hardships that have fallen upon the lot of the Syrian people. It's important for the Syrian people to overcome these hardships by themselves without any interference from outside, to stabilize the situation in the country, to stop the violence and to establish an efficient national dialogue and also to have all the reforms. And a recent visit to the Russian Federation of the President of Lao People's Democratic Republic have given an additional impetus to our bilateral cooperation. We have reached important agreements in the field of trade, economic and humanitarian science. We have very good and constructive relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain and this is a good base for coming to the specific results in the field of oil and gas investment and banking sphere. And I hope that opening an embassy of Djibouti in Moscow will help to expand our ties, including in the field of strengthening the peace and stability in the northwest of Africa. We value our cooperation with Iceland, which has been developing rather dynamically and which expands new spheres, including the sphere of innovation. And we will multiply this experience that we have gained, including the cooperation in the Arctic region. Yes, and we, I have very warm memories about my visit to Angola in 2009 and negotiations that I had with President José Eduardo dos Santos. And I hope that joint work on the implementation of the agreements that we have reached will allow us to provide the high dynamics of our bilateral cooperation. I would like to emphasize the high level of cooperation with the Republic of Colombia, one of our important partners in Latin America. We hope to further contribute to increase, of our, to increase our cooperation, and first of all in the field of energy, automobile construction and others. During the recent years, uh, there have been a raise in the relations between Russia and Tunisian Republic, and we have been able to come to serious results. And I'm sure that we have all the possibilities to use this positive experience to open a way to new promising joint projects on a new stage of democratic development of Tunisia. And our cooperation with the United Kingdom is one of the important factors of strengthening stability and security in Europe. And I hope that, and I'm sure that we will go on with this cooperation. Uh, including on the implementation of an important program, Partnership for Modernization, that has been prepared and signed. This issue became one of the key questions that we have discussed during the recent year visit to Russia of Prime Minister David Cameron. And we confirm our readiness to solve all the issues in the spirit of constructive cooperation. And we intend to continue to develop our special ties with the Republic of Belarus. And this year, they have received a very strong additional impetus. It can be seen in the number of key agreements that were reached during the Supreme State Council of the Union State. We have been strengthening the integration cooperation in bilateral order and multilateral formats. And here I would like to emphasize the significantly new advanced level of co our cooperation. I mean the establishment of a common economic space. Distinguished gentlemen, I am sure that your diplomatic experience will help you to uphold and to multiply the traditions of friendship and partnership that you have established with the Russian Federation. And sincerely, I would like to wish you success and good luck, and thank you for your attention.